All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And in tonight's video, I'm actually just going to go over a book haul that I just engaged in. Um, I actually just found about $220 of gift cards to Barnes & Noble that I had from my mom, from aunts and uncles, um, different relatives over the last few years and just never got around um, to going and, and purchasing books. Uh, people that know me know my know I love books, so it's an easy gift. It's either Amazon or Barnes & Noble. And so just went there and picked up a bunch of books on financial education uh, and investing. So I'll, I'll link these in the description. Um, so the first one, I said actually this to my friend, uh, Logan Kane, uh, Seeking Alpha writer. And uh, he said, is this, is this you or is this written by you? Um, this is The Wealthy Gardener and uh, Lessons on Prosperity Between Father and Son by John Soforic. Um, there's a great line here in the description where he says, uh, as his lessons reveal, financial freedom is a means to power and control over our lives. Without money, we are subject to, to the demands and whims of others. With money, we are sheltered from the storm and we can extend that shelter to our loved ones. So very much looking forward to reading this here. Uh, and in fact, I'll actually, I was thinking about it today. In addition to these uh, investing videos and personal finance videos, uh, I'm as proud of my garden as I am as my, my brokerage account. So I'll probably be doing like some some garden uh, videos, maybe not to the extent of a, a P. Allen Smith or a Monty Don, but but just uh, with my Cherokee Purples, my Mortgage Lifters, my Brandy Wines, and then my uh, Italian Heirloom Pepper from Basilicata, Jimmy Nardello. So I'll probably be doing you know some videos regarding that. A little off topic from the finance, but it's it's part of who I am. And you might say here now with the wealthy gardener, that gardening is a luxury uh, that I can partake in due to my brokerage accounts. So then the next book here is called The Complete Family Office Handbook here. And this is interesting. And then it says a guide for affluent fam families and the advisors who serve them. So, so you guys know, what a family office is in investing is essentially a, it's either formed as a corporation or an LLC. And it's basically a team that manages a wealthy families or entities money. A lot of times, you know, even someone like Jim Simmons at Rentech or Bill Gates at Microsoft or Mark Zuckerberg, they may have a family office and all family offices are, are, are unique, but it, it generally might have a, a CPA or an accountant. Uh, an investment advisor, um, sort of an outreach person to the point of some family offices, maybe they're booking uh, airline tickets and, and concert tickets for the family. Uh, they're coordinating vacation rentals. Um, that's kind of getting in, you know, down and dirty into it. Some are just purely accounting and investment advisory. Um, and, and they can be kind of whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, with with me, I consider... Um, what I'm doing almost like a family office because although I'm retail, I don't know. I, when I think of retail, sometimes I think of a guy in his parents' basement, um, you know, with a brokerage account of two thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, and you know, on, on Wall Street bets or Reddit, and and you know, day trading all day, trying to get a hot tip. Um, so I'm basically saying un, sort of an unsophisticated investor when, when I say retail, but I'm not quite Steve Cohen or Ray Dalio or Jim Simmons or David Tepper, um, meaning I'm not running hundreds of millions of dollars or billions of dollars. I'm running a couple million dollars. So I guess you could say that's high net worth, um, you know, but it, to me, it's not just like an average retail. So I kind of consider myself a, sort of a family office. I help my mother's uh, investments, my own, um, so on and so forth. So um, and I, when I go to banks to get loans, I kind of pitch us, our entity as a family office, essentially. Um, and not everyone even knows what that means when I, when I say that to the banks, by the way. They're like, what does that mean? You know. So anyways, the next one is interesting. Um, it is Mohammed bin Salman's Ruthless Quest for Global Power, Blood and Oil. 
So you have Saudi Arabia there. This is interesting. I read a book recently by Daniel Jurgen. I believe it was the new power map. It's probably behind me somewhere in there, my book collection. Um, so I read another book uh, on Saudi Arabia last year as well. I read the new power map by Daniel Jurgen, if that's the correct title. I read a, uh, another book on Saudi Arabia and then I'm reading this one. And so what's interesting is I have a quotation that I actually put in, in my description here in all my videos, power is power. Uh, let me say it again, power is power. And so uh, MBS, Vladimir Putin, Igor Sechin, Alexei Miller, um, you may not know all those names. Igor runs, I believe, Rosneft. Alexei runs Gazprom. I own Rosneft. I own Rosneft in Russian rubles. Um, and then I own Gazprom. Um, I don't own Saudi Aramco because I can't really get, get access to it. I think it's only on the Saudi exchange. Um, but there's a lot of talk about, you know, ESG and, you know, we're going to everything's Tesla or everything's battery power. Everything, you know, there's no one's going to use it anymore. Um, I don't think that's the case. I think in the next 20, 30 years, uh, hydrocarbons are going to be part of the future. Um, I think that the valuations, I mean, I was buying energy when it was at oil was $0 uh, a barrel. It's at 80, I believe today. Um, you know, I've more than doubled my money in Gazprom. Um, I also own Cinepec, which is a Chinese energy company. Uh, and that's a super manuage and it's trading for maybe three, four times earnings with an 8% dividend yield. So um, this will be an interesting book for me uh, to, to sink my teeth into. And then this is another one here, how I invest my money, Joshua Brown and Brian Portnoy. I wonder if he's uh, related to that guy, the pizza guy, uh, Dave Portnoy. Um, illustrated by Carl Richards. And I guess they interview different people on how they personally invest their money. So you get different perspectives, which is which is interesting there. And um, Josh Brown, yeah, you'll see him on CNBC a lot, especially if you watch CNBC during the, the afternoons when the market's open. Um, you'll see him very much kind of like a New York, New Jersey guy, his accent, his mannerisms. Um, I think he runs a YouTube channel called The Compound. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this one uh, as well. And next one is value investing from Graham to Buffett and Beyond by Bruce Greenwald, Judd Kahn, Aaron Bellissimo, Mark A. Cooper, Tano Santos. Um, so for those of you guys who know, my style of investing is what I term syncretic but I very much have a value bent, um, especially with my individual stock selections, even the sort of classifications that I invented, maniosians and super maniosians are sort of a value, uh, using value ratios. Um, super maniosians where the dividend yield is greater than the price to earnings. Um, maniosians is where the ratio between the price to earnings and the dividend yield is equal to two or less than that. Um, and again, it's things that are very low valuations, but are shooting off dividends. Again, it doesn't mean you should buy every super maniosian and maniosian, but it's just a, a gauge for me to see what's uh, being thrown out, so to speak, in the stock market. And the last one is just sort of a philosophical book here. It's probably a lot of Marcus Aurelius and Seneca. Uh, the Daily, here it is here. The Daily Stoic, 366 Meditations on Wisdom, Perseverance, and the Art of Living. Yep, featuring the new translations of Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, uh, Ryan Holiday, and Stephen Hanselman, the Daily Stoic. So, yeah, so that's my book haul there. Two, four, six books tonight that I picked up with my gift cards. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to diving into them. Um, for those of you who, who follow me, you know that I'm an avid reader. And I think that's one of the keys to my success. Um, I try my, my schedule. My schedule is generally this. I wake up in the morning, uh, have my, my multivitamin, my breakfast. My breakfast is uh, oatmeal, oat bran, whey protein, egg white. I usually call my property manager for my 24 rental units, make sure everything's kosher there. Um, just check in where the rent, how much rent we've collected, what's coming in. So just a sort of a quick little phone call there or a text. 
Um, then have my pre-workout, go to the gym around 1030 to 1130 or 12. So I do that. I train about five days a week. When I was young, I was really, really into fitness. Um, sort of past my prime with that at 41, but I still, I still do it and enjoy it. Um, and then, and then I come back, have lunch, check in my garden, you know, the, we got the wealthy gardener here. And then I try to, and I don't always do it, but I try in the middle of the afternoon after lunch between two o'clock and five or six o'clock to read a hundred to 300 pages. Again, that's a goal. A lot of times I miss that, especially, you know, when I have things going on, like with the cash out refi, I was just immersed and engrossed in that, uh, very stressed out. So I, I just didn't really, um, get to my reading as I, as I would like, but that's kind of my goal. And then at six, you know, I have dinner and then relax after that. Um, but, and then sometimes I'll read in the evening or I'll watch YouTube videos to learn. Um, cause again, there's a lot of, a lot of great content on here to learn about gardening, investing, what have you. So I don't view that as entertainment, by the way, like it's not like someone else may be watching TV and watching a sitcom. I view that as sit entertainment. When I'm watching YouTube or I'm, wa I'm watching like podcasts and educational videos. So it's, it's akin to what almost reading, uh, to, to be frank. So, um, but anyways, yeah, that's just kind of the schedule. So it's in the middle of the afternoon when I try to get my reading in. Um, but, uh, all right, guys, listen, don't want to make this one too long. My no normal videos are, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. I want, I want to keep this around 10. I'm a little over, um, but that's my book haul. Uh, hope you guys, uh, do your reading as well. Enjoy it. Any recommendations, especially in personal finance, financial education, uh, would love to hear from you. Take care. Ciao.